Remember, uh, when you passed the CPA, last two months ago, was it? Last October. October. But the, but the result was released around November. Ah, no, last week of October also. Last week of October. So congratulations, no? Yes. It was a big uh, joy, no? Ce celebrated by your friends and by Colombians, those people who know with you, especially your parents, no? It's um, a blessing. Yeah, I, I was also very uh, excited at no, that time. But I know there's a lot behind uh, this thing. <laughs> behind the behind success. This, uh, success or this, behind passing this uh, CPA. Do you recall uh, the moment when you learned that you passed? Where were you? Yeah. Actually, right after the exam, Father, no? Uh, right after the exam, I spent a, a time with my father and mother, so we went to Cebu for almost one week while waiting for the result of the exam. So we visited different uh, pilgrimage sites. We went to uh, Simala. Simala. It's in the southern part of Cebu, and we also went. We also visited Basilica of Santo Niño in Cebu City and Diotokos and the house of the. Uh, Kamomot? Ah. Mm, Bishop Kamomot. Bishop Kamomot. Venerable. So, Venerable Kamomot. So we were there uh, spending time uh, because I promised before before, uh, af before I took the exam, I was there already. So I promised that after the exam, I want to spend the time while waiting for the result to express my gratitude for the opportunity to have the time uh, makapag-review at the same time to have the exam. So... That was really my intention, and and also I also asking the Lord, no, hopefully He will give it to me. And but you were with your father and mother, no? Yes, I was with my mother and father. And the last day, uh, I know that in the tenth day the result will be released. So I told them maybe uh, we can wait for the seven p.m. mass because I'm sure that that the result will be released soon either 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. so we were able to attend the the 7 p.m. mass in the basilica and after that we went directly to the to the house of my cousin where we stayed so while waiting for the result I was watching a, a, a movie Dollhouse by Dollhouse? I think the title is Dollhouse by the Baron Geisler so while I, while I was watching so suddenly my my cell phone uh, got a text, message. a text message no because I already deactivated my messenger I deactivated my Facebook because I don't want to be paranoid I don't want to be bothered by the by the messages no so but I know the result will be released on that day so I got a message from a friend from a, a from my classmate in the review center so she texted me, Father, congratulations, you're already a CPA. But my first, my first reaction, really, are you sure? Are you kidding? It's not good. It's not the right time to prank. So, no, no, Father, please, please give me the 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 main source. The where we, where where could I get the source so so that I I could see it for myself. So she told me. Then she texted me the. The, uh, she sent me the picture where my name was there no so when she sent it to me so I got a, a phone call from Rio online where I did my online review since August of 2020 so I spent two years in the review online at the same time I had the opportunity to review in face-to-face -face. yeah how did you uh 
tell your father and mother about the results? <laughs> so, actually, I, I checked it several times. So I want to make it sure maybe maybe PRC will, <laughs> will release another result. So, I I I. I checked it for myself then I found out my name is already there. So around 11 a.m. So I woke up my... The next day? No, that 11 p.m. Sorry, 11 p.m. Okay. Because they were already sleeping. So oh. <laughs> I talked to them slowly. So, pa. ma, pa, <laughs> I already, I'm already a CPA. But I couldn't contain my happiness now. So I was really... I was at, at, it seems that my voice was choking. So I couldn't express well. So. Then my father, no, shouted, "Praise the Lord! You're already a CPA." So he, How he loud was he? very, very loud, no. So uh, unfortunately, I was not able to get a video of his reaction, but I could still remember, no, his reaction. He was so happy. Uh, he wanted to to jump, no, but he was already sleeping. So he just shouted, no, "Praise God!" He he kept praising, "Praise praising the Lord! God. Praise the Lord!" Because. He witnessed my my journey, how I strive hard, how I woke up early in the morning to to have my review and the time that I spent no during the, the review. So and he was so also happy. He was a, yes, uh, an accountant graduate. Yeah, uh, he was an accountancy graduate, but unfortunately, he was not able to take the exam because of. Uh, because at that time it was very expensive to take the CPA exam because the exam was only held in Manila <laughs> so it's very difficult for those who are in the provinces especially my father so he couldn't take the exam that's why when I when I passed the exam it seems that he also passed the exam <laughs> perhaps that was that that was his reaction he was so happy and he was so proud no after all because he that's why it also added to my to my joy, no? Knowing that my parents who were with me the entire journey I know were with me also that when the time that I passed the exam, when I found out that I passed the exam. So it was priceless, it was a very joyful moment. And special for your father also because you see uh, you're a priest now and then CPA as well. But your father's dream was to become a priest also. Yes, you're right. Yeah. And to be an accountant. Yeah. <clears throat> My father wanted to be a priest but of course, no, I don't know the story behind it. But my grand, she, he just told me that my grandmother won't allow him. So if he if he's a priest now, I won't be here. Yes. <laughs> so God has a reason for everything. So it's like hitting uh, two birds in one stone. Yes. When I became an accountant after becoming a priest, he also felt that he's also fulfilled, no? becoming an accountant at the same time as a priest. You see, the, the story started in Kidnon, no? You yes. were in Kidnon and he was working in Camp Phillips and there was a retrenchment mm -hmm. and you moved to Agusan with your parents. So that time, there was a bit of struggle, no? Mm -hmm. uh, in the family and then what happened? If, uh, your father and mother really yeah we migrated to Agusan. Agusan but prior to that I always I I was hospitalized no several you times because I was very sickly so and it added also to the burden that my father does uh, didn't have any job at, at that time. time so we went to Agusan then we continue our our living there but my of course, my mom and dad, they are always religious. They are they always rely on God's providence. And for me, that's the reason why. And how many were you? We students? were four. And you were all in the private school? Yes. And then you, you finished your studies. In and then you became an auditor, no? You studied accountancy? Uh, after Xavier University, after my graduation, I studied in... I, I, I work in Alba Romeo, in an auditing firm, so for almost a year and in total I, I work for almost three years, three years but in different companies the one uh, is the LGC also no? LCG 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 and BPR and company then, uh, auditing firm how did you hear about the Columbans how come you you left your jobs because I was already active in the parish I was the youth director 
uh, youth coordinator. And the parish is, was a Columban, Columban parish. And, uh, and, Agusan, no? Yes, in Agusan. Agusan. And at the same time, I was active in PWD or specifically Deaf and Mute Ministry. So they are very essential to my vocation story. This is Agusan. Uh, Agusan, Kaya in the Oro City. Malangkay Agusan. So, wow. so you were in an auditor at that time and then you decided to do yeah. the seminary? Auditor and I decided to, to quit. Uh, I decided to to stop no uh, because but you also had an offer yeah in Dubai. because that that's the time that I was elected as a president uh, in the parachute coordinating council so I had to double time uh, and that time also my cousin from Dubai arrived so she told me that there was an Im immediate hiring in Dubai so she found out that I worked before in an auditing firm so I have the advantage so the employer will be coming soon so she was hoping that <laughs> i will accept the offer so direct, I, this is direct, direct, recruitment. Uh, rec rec direct recruitment so so i pondered about it i wanted to go there because that's a big opportunity for me to help my family but as i continue with my discernment i've noticed that there is something uh there's something beneath no that that really uh, not stop but allowed me to discern more and I weigh to I weigh different options and I found out that I am more at peace I will be more happy if I will continue my, with my discernment in the seminary since the how do you call this the final screening will be May of that year <laughs> So I took the risk, not knowing if I will be accepted, not knowing if I will be, if I will continue in the formation. But I just follow, no, what God wanted me. So eventually, you were ordained, no, and sent to Peru. Yeah, I was ordained February 17, 2018. Then after five months, uh, I was assigned in Bara temporarily. Then I was sent to Lima, Peru, for my missionary assignment. How come you you decided to? take the board or the review for actually the actually taking the board exam it was no longer in in my mind but it's in my heart no I wanted it's I felt that there is a uh, unfulfilled like unfulfilled desire unfulfilled desire so but in my mind I think it's already impossible given the time I'm already 41 years old 40 at that and time you're already a priest and I'm already a priest I was assigned in in a foreign land in Peru so no opportunity to review because at that time there was no online review and because of the pandemic came no oh. I'm not saying that <laughs> thanks to COVID-19 but COVID-19 became an an instrument no to to look into it so my a good friend of mine my previous uh, my classmate in college called me up and he told me that there's already an online review for certified public accountant so he gave me the link then I contacted Rio review center but you were still in Lima I was in Lima so I start I enrolled in that review center uh, which is based in Baguio so it started in August 2020 so from August 2020 I already uh, uh, I already review uh some of the subjects so i passionately and i commit my I committed myself no the entire review until such time that i had a chance to go back to the philippines then i arrived january 20 26 20, 26 2021 so at that time so i still continue my online review then i bought some books to to read again because 18 years is too long and there were so many changes if i could assess myself maybe the only things that i that retains in my mind two percent no <laughs> so i need to work the 98 percent so so review review then fortunately we got infected with the virus covid 19 so together with my mom my dad and my elder sister and so even then <laughs> i kept reviewing oh. review review then supposedly I, uh, I 
I am planning, no, I was planning to take the October 2021. Uh, May 2021, there was no exam. October 2021, because of the peak of Omicron or Delta something, so they divided. October will be for 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 regional uh, examinees, then for December for the Manila. But I didn't I didn't take the exam, so I I told myself May 2022 will be my last no <laughs> will be my last chance, so I will be taking that exam. Unfortunately, because of some reason, no, uh, one of my documents was not released. So it was released days after the final, uh, the final submission of the requirements by in the PRC. So I was not able to take the May. So at that time, I was planning to go back to Peru. So I decided to email again Carlos, uh, superior, superior in Peru, if I could extend a little bit more so that I can take I can take the October 2022 exam and it was a blessing in disguise because the May exam the rating was very low nobody so yeah nobody passed nobody passed. And, and in in the face-to-face -face review center no but of course in Rio the percentage is quite high so I took the October then then everything becomes history <laughs> So, so, but I knew you, you had struggled also. Yes, I struggled a lot. Because you were taking medicines. Yes, I struggled a lot because aside from studies, so because maybe because of stress, so my medical result was bad. So my triglyceride was so high, my SGPT. So the doctor gave me a, uh, gave me some medicine, no? So I need, I, I needed to take those medicine for my heart for my liver and it and I need to compromise my memory no my memory was affected and I had also difficulty with my my sitting no uh, there's, pain in your the, back. there's a pain at my I, I had a back pain especially when I sit for more than 20 to 30 minutes so I suffered a lot so but my determination is bigger than all <laughs> all those challenges so i continued reviewing i worked for my dreams you prayed a lot also. i prayed a lot because and like uh, like our uh, lay people who pray yes uh, yes yeah way we call religious yeah that's uh, why popular religiosity, popular religiosity. So, so it was also helpful for me because i was able to appreciate uh the lay uh how lay no uh, express their their faith because before I was ordained I was I am a lay no I'm a lay in the first place so I went a lot of churches I prayed I offer my intention I even attended the mass with my requirements my pencil with my calculator to be blessed by a priest after the mass and I even asked my mom and dad to sharpen my 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 pencils no because yeah. i offered no i as i of course i offered it to god and i want to to express my gratitude to my parents who were always with me who are always with me even until now but was there a moment that you wanted to stop yes the there were moments that i wanted to quit because of the difficulty because of the slow progress that i have but uh but Instead of losing hope, I continued no, to work for it, not only for myself, because I find meaning and purpose why I why I want to become a CPA. It would be a, it will be a great help to our mission as a missionary society of Saint Columban. And I don't know what future holds me, but I know this will be a big help to our to the mission that is entrusted to us. So you see, uh, you were 41 yes, years old when I'm you took the exam, and then 18 years have passed. Eight the last time you passed. studied it. So during the review and your quizzes, your pre-exam, so what was the <laughs> progress? Oh, know? very slow. I started even I got demoralized because 
after all the weeks of study I only got 20% but I always celebrate my slow progress from 20, 22, 25, 30 until I, I reach 75 then when the, when the face to face review uh, was already available so I, I enrolled and it was very helpful because I got to assess myself and the last pre-board that I took uh, a, a weeks before, few weeks before the exam so I received the, the, the number one spot one. Yeah, for the, for the pre-board so it gave me confidence no? now I think I have, I have a big chance big to chance. pass but during the exam, it was very difficult. <laughs> yeah, but, but there were moments also when uh, you shared earlier that you were kind of assured or you see something on the wall, was it? Yes, during the exam because every time when uh, when I encounter difficult problems and it for me it's impossible to solve. So I have this uh, like... Vision? Oh yeah, I have this imagination, vision, no? imagination in front of me. Uh, seeing my name with the comma CPA, so it gave me it energized Earl me. Tobacco. Yeah, early J Tobacco, comma CPA. So it gave energized. me energy. It gave me energy and and it pushed me to to do as much as I can. No, so for me that was that was very helpful. And I and I took the three day exam calmly. Perhaps because my prayer I surrendered everything to God though I really wanted to pass but I know in God's time he will give what he wants for me now and, and you were comfortable sitting yes there yes I was comfortable despite the difficulty level of the exam which for me it was it was really difficult but I did my best mm. uh, I was able to apply everything that I've learned the concepts that I that I studied so for me that is more important now. Yeah. One of the reasons why we have this interview because you want to share this story, no? Yes, I want because to share. Because after you passed the exam and then it was on the Facebook and then it was uh, broadcasted, etc. You received many text messages or yes. from even from strangers, no? Yeah, from even from strangers. So I just met them in Messenger for during that time so I was so happy because it's like a that's that achievement it's a community achievement no like I did not only pass but I also gave hope and inspiration to those who are aspiring because most of those who connect uh, most of those who chat with me or wants to connect to be connected with me are those who are already at their 30s 40s uh, despite the uh, the challenges that they that they been through, they still wanted to become a CPA. So I was so happy and I was so blessed that my my humble achievement, this greatest, uh, this God's gift to me, became an inspiration. Thank you no? mm. for your, for sharing your. Uh of people will uh, feel hopeful mm -hmm. or dream again no? mm -hmm. and like your father I think your father has mm -hmm. really fulfilled mm -hmm. his dream through mm -hmm. you no? mm -hmm. so perhaps some people also will fulfill their dream through yes. you and through your story and the whole journey made me realize that there's always a right time for everything as long as you tried your best you did your best and you offer it to God we all have our plans and sometimes our plans are not materialized or realized but we need to remember always that God's plan is far better than our plan and maybe and I believe being a CPA is God's plan for me and he gave me in the right time with the right purpose with the right mindset and for me that is much bigger than passing it's more of a mission more of an inspiration so this interview then is part one no we will wait for the part two and it will be revealed you know <laughs> what's the next chapter yes yes <laughs> what's god's uh, plan on mm. this uh, for you no mm. through you no? but i'm very I, but i'm very blessed no so that i will be uh that i can inspire 
a lot of aspiring CPAs. Your time will come. Don't be discouraged. Just continue dreaming, continue chasing your dream and believe that God will give your desire in the right time, in the right place, with the right mindset. I can't really help thinking about your father, no? Yes. Maybe sure. he almost gave up, no? Because it's a long time ago. Yeah, long time no, ago. No, no chance to take no the exam to for take him, etc. But when you told him while he was sleeping, yes. you woke him up and told him, I'm now a CPA, wow. <laughs> it's like that he was going back yes. 50 years ago uh -huh. or like he, re he remembers his journey. So like that achievement become also his it's achievement. Yeah. So very blessed to share that joy, to share that moment with them. Um, very, they are very supportive. My mom would always <laughs> encourage me. She knew every time when I'm always down, no? when I don't want to continue. It's even simple things. She gave um, a cup of milk, a cup of coffee. No? Very good. So simple gesture, but very meaningful. And thanks also for giving us this interview and also for allowing people to uh, join you or to be with you or to share this journey with you. No, yes. Because you, re re you are very friendly and you also mm. make people become part of your journey. And I would like to thank Rio Online uh, because they are very supportive and for me they are God's gift to me when times that I don't know if I still have the chance to review God gave me this pla that platform no, re online to accompany me and they taught me the basics they taught me the, the basic concepts which prepared me for a big battle the CIPA, CIPALI, no certified public certified public accountant examination and also to smart no i love cpa where i spend almost a year no face to face review it helped me also prepare the exam these two review center are very instrumental no they are providence by god as you notice the sun is setting now no we have to move on no but uh, thank you Look at this scenery, you know, very beautiful place.